All right guys, so lastly, I wanted to demonstrate how to properly put the G-suit on. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but the first time you do it can be a little confusing, so we'll get started. You wanna get your G-suit. Uh, first things first, you'll notice that there's some yellow tabs on it. The general rule of thumb is that the yellow tabs will always face towards your body. So you wanna orient it so the yellow tabs are towards your body. You wanna start with the girdle first. So this is the section that will go around your abdomen. And what's very important is that you make sure it goes right below the lowest set of ribs. If it's on the ribs, that can be dangerous because it creates a lot of pressure and you could potentially damage your ribs that way. So you want it in the soft part, just right below the ribs. Once you've got it oriented properly, you wanna take the flap, come around the side to your right side where the zippers will converge. And you'll notice that there are two buttons. And you wanna take the two buttons, basically clip them into place like so, and that takes care of the primary uh, clasps that'll kind of hold that section together right before you zip it. But before you do that, you want to make sure that the girdle is centered and oriented properly. Then go ahead and clip the zipper in. For the abdomen section, you clip the zip and it zips upward. It's a little tight supposed to be, but that takes care of the abdomen section. Next up is a little bit trickier, it's the legs. I'm trying to orient the camera a little better. For the legs, it's the same concept. First thing you want to do is make sure that the tabs are, the yellow tabs are facing inwards, and then there's one button at the top. Clasp that, one button at the bottom. This one is smaller, so it's a little bit trickier to get. And it's kind of tricky because you have to keep your legs straight while you bend down. And then basically once you've got that, actually what you can start doing is, once you've got the top button down, go ahead and hook the zipper in and zip it down about to the halfway point. Now for the legs, it zips from the top down. And then basically, follows the zipper down all the way. And that takes care of that leg. That little button, if you apply enough pressure, the zipper will go down without it. So as long as you've got the top button clasped, you should be good to go. I'll do both if you can, but some of these are just really, really tiny and super loose, so they don't work that well. Again, top button, align the zippers, keep your legs as straight as possible, and zip from top to bottom, making sure not to catch any of your Nomex flight suit with the G-suit fabric. tight so you hold it down together and help it guide along as it goes down eventually you'll get it so that's the g-suit put on pretty similar to the flight suit it's kind of like an overlayer that feels really tight it's got the hose that connects to the aircraft that will inflate the bladders to keep the blood from leaving your upper body uh, and hopefully getting some more oxygen to the brain Next up, we've got the harness. So I figure at this point, I'll just demonstrate each component anyway, since we've got them out. The harness, again, this isn't complete at all. It's actually very incomplete. But for the sake of demonstration, I'll just show it. Uh, it sort of acts like a backpack. Looks like it's got one clasp still on there. This acts like a backpack. Once you get to SEER training, you'll have some hands-on experience with this. So it should be pretty familiar to you. we we'll just go ahead and swing it on. Like so. Uh, next thing you'll notice is there's a uh, strap that goes across the chest. Now this one's missing it, so unfortunately I can't demonstrate it, but there would be a strap that goes across your chest here. I'll just kind of simulate that with this fabric, just looping it around. And then I'll just tuck it in, but there would be a strap that goes across here. 
and it would clip into place right across the chest. And then there was two straps that go under your leg and across the thigh. Again, they would have clips, but I don't have it, so I'll just tuck it into this suit for demonstration purposes. Same thing here. And uh, that's pretty much what it kind of would look like, except instead of me tucking it in, there's clasps. And you would also have a life preserver unit, which goes around your neck, that um, is used for water safety. Lastly, let's uh, just kind of demonstrate how to wear the helmet properly. So, gloves on for realism. Okay, so we've got our flight helmet here. First thing you want to do is go to the right side and release the bayonet clip. That'll release the mask. Now with the helmet, it does have a little bit of give in the back, so you can kind of spread it with your thumb a little bit and make sure that the nape or this black section here is pulled back as you put it on so it catches the back of your neck. Can be a bit of a tight fit, so you might need to kind of work it a little bit. But once it's on, the next thing you want to do is get your chin strap, take it underneath, and button it tight. Same concept with the G suit, just one button clasp. There we go. The last thing to do is to put your mask on. So it's going to be hard to hear me when I do this, but hopefully you can. Um, same concept in reverse, instead of releasing the bayonet clips, you're guiding it into this cheek piece here, the bayonet receiver. You want to hear about three clicks to ensure a good seal. So align the mask first and then guide it in. Hopefully you guys can hear the clicks. Okay, mask is in place. Find the receiver with your hand, kind of find the entry point. Once it's in, this here. One, two, three. So that's three clicks right there. And that's to provide an adequate seal for you to get enough oxygen in. So hopefully you guys can hear me. It's really hard to talk in this thing. And it's even harder to breathe. So that's basically the concept of all of your flight equipment. The visor also can come down and you can, uh, you can block out all your haters, you know? But yes, that's basically all the flight equipment. Um, basically, I can't think of anything else to really talk about that I haven't covered. But that covers it for the flight gear. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thought it'd be a fun one. Uh, we get to kind of hold on to our gear um, for now because we're going to be doing some simulator stuff and uh, doing uh, some hypoxic training over at Tyndall. So I figured it's a big cool little video to make. So. If you have any questions, like always, let me know, um, and I'll try my best to answer them. And until next, guys, next video, I'll see you guys next time.